For more videos visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do this problem that says determine the resultant moment produced by the forces at point O right here. So the first thing I want to do is figure out the uh, X and Y components of F1. F2 is going straight to the left, so it's pure X component. So basically I'm trying to figure out this component of the force and this component of the force. So the X component, the one going horizontally of F1 has a magnitude of 300 pounds times the sine of 30 which comes out to be 150 pounds. The Y component, the one going straight down, has a magnitude of 300 pounds times the cosine of 30 degrees. And that means it's equal to 260 pounds. Now you want to figure out the lever arms. This is the lever arm being pushed down by this force. And this is the lever arm being pulled and pushed by these two forces. So the length of this lever arm is equal to 6 feet right here plus 6 feet sine of 30 given by this length and this angle right here. Which means that this lever arm is equal to 9 feet. And the length of this lever arm is given by 6 feet cosine of 30, which means that it's equal to 5.2 feet. So the sum of the moments at point O, assuming counterclockwise is positive, is equal to. First, you have this force going straight down, pushing this lever arm to go counterclockwise. The length of the lever arm is 9 feet and the force is going straight down is 260, 260 pounds times the length of the lever arm which is 9 feet. So you don't get confused, it's a good habit to write the forces that you calculated so you don't mess them up. So this one's 260, this one's 150. Uh, since it's going counterclockwise this is positive. So. Now this force of 150 is pushing this lever arm to go clockwise which means that it's negative. The force has a magnitude of 150 pounds and the length of the lever arm is 5.2 feet. And the last force which is F2 is making this lever arm going go uh, counterclockwise which means that it's positive. The magnitude is 200 pounds. And the length of the lever arm is again 5.2 feet. It's good to write the units too. As you can see, I make it a habit of writing the units. So you always know what your final answer's units are going to be. And you don't get confused. When you plug these numbers into your calculator, it comes out to be 2,600 foot-pounds. which can also be expressed as 2.6 kilopounds per foot. That's the sum of the moments. And since it's positive, it means that it's going counterclockwise. Final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems, and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.